This is 100 Tricky Chipmunks coming at you with another little review. Today I thought I'd talk about La Land, film which has been hyped to all hell and it sounds like it was named by a five year old, but let's get into it and what I thought about it. So, La La Land is a musical which um, basically follows uh, two main characters. You've got Emma Stone, who is playing a person who works in a cafe, you know, and she's trying to become a big, a a big actor, um, so you know, follows her trying to do that and reach that dream. And you've got Ryan Gosling playing this pianist who wants to get his own club, you know, wants to be playing jazz there, because he wants to generally spread jazz, you know, feels like it's dying a little bit. Um, and it follows these two meeting each other, them trying to get to their dreams, and also a bit about their relationship. And what I did really like is, you know, when you think musicals, you can often think, oh, hammy, hammy story. But it was actually pretty realistic, and I did like how it showed the highs and lows. Didn't show it as all perfect, and it showed the struggle of them trying to both get to their dreams while still maintaining their relationship. And the ending was very bittersweet as well, which kind of, I liked. I liked the ending very much and how it played into the whole story um, in that regard. Um, the pacing was done very well as well. Uh, not many bits where I was bored. Really, I mean, middle bits, some um, bits were maybe overstretched. But apart from that, no, it was overall a very good pace to the story um, in that regard there. In terms of the characters, um, I felt overall that the chemistry between, like, you know, Ryan Gosling's character and Emma Stone's character was pretty good. The, the, the humour in it was very good, and the dialogue overall between the characters um, was very quick, witty, and I liked it. Um, in terms of the genuine feel, it did take a bit for the actual when they get together for it to to feel genuine, but once it did, it, it was very fun to watch. And again, it was done well enough so that the ending actually did have an impact as well, you know, it felt like an emotional impact uh, in that regard there. So overall, the characters, I, I like them quite a bit. Um, in terms of the uh, songs, now the first song I was not too keen on, and I feel like the City of Stars, one of the songs that is repeated a bit, but apart from that, they had a very nice variety of songs. They had your happy songs, you had your more emotional, slow songs, uh, especially the song at the end was perfectly done, in a, you know, and the scene was very well done. And yeah, overall, the music was pretty good and definitely definitely like Greece status of music you know very good very good now in terms of singing like um, Ryan Gosling was really surprisingly good like you know I've never heard him sing really in any film but you know he did a very good job with his songs good tone and he hit his notes Emma Stone did pretty well as well probably she struggled a little bit I felt like on the high notes and could see the, like, feel the straining on my voice, but it wasn't so noticeable that it was took away. Overall, you know, uh, they were very good singing in it, and um, nothing terrible, basically, in that regard there, which is always good. One thing i got to give props to is definitely the cin cinematography. Um, it, not only in the musical-like numbers, like, the cinematography and some of the shots were amazing. Um, and just generally, you know, not on the musical bits, it was done very, very well as well. Like the landscape shots, so you've got one scene where they're by a bench and you can see the whole of like the big city and you see all the lights and the sun, you know, the sunset's kind of just going down. Beautiful scene and many other ones like that which really um, help bring, bring a sense of magic in a way to the, to the, to the film and feels very grand as well uh, in that regard. So, I mean... Overall, as a film, I think La La Land is very good. Um, has yeah, it has its bumps, but overall, is it worth a hype? I'd say so. So yeah, it's definitely worth seeing. And uh, that's my review there, guys. And we'll catch you guys next time.